We're making meatballs and spaghetti today. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. So, for example, last night you made the meatball subs from last week. And you have all this leftover pasta sauce and meatballs. What's a person to do? Make meatballs and spaghetti, of course. It is spaghetti sauce. So all you have to do is heat up your leftovers here, cook some nice spaghetti, and this dream-filled spaghetti. Perfect for my diabetic friends and for people like me, too, with a weight problem. <laughs> no, but seriously, it is delicious. I can't tell the difference between this and regular spaghetti. And since my wife is a diabetic, we make this every time. Dreamfields Pasta. You need to check it out. It's a high-protein, high-fiber uh, pasta. When you're cooking spaghetti, you want to use a pot big enough that your spaghetti has room to roam in or turn around in and you want to sit on it till it starts boiling so you can stir it till it gets a little soft where it can bend and move and then just let it go. Also give it a splash of cooking oil to help cut down on all the foam. This is on high and it's not boiling over. The directions on my package say boil for nine minutes. Anyway, so you cook your pasta and when you finish, especially if you do it ahead, you want to put two to four pats of butter in there to keep it from sticking together because nobody wants that. And you just mix it right in. And there you go. Now I'm not saying you need me to tell you to do this, but it's talking about planning for leftovers. Because who doesn't have leftover stuff that gets thrown away because they didn't know what to do with it? And in this economy, you just can't afford to do that. So do this. Also, get some nice frozen uh, garlic bread. And there you go. You can do anything you want to. Get a, little, uh, get a little Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I didn't do that, and you didn't see that. Some bread on the floor, here or rare. Check out this handy spaghetti spoon. <laughs> I want you to see, it shows, um, for like one or two people, you could do this, or for half of one, then this is for one, this is for two. That's how much spaghetti you stick in to see how to plan, you know, how much to cook. I know that sounds weird. But also, check this out. You just reach in, and lift. Look at that. That is so handy. So. This is probably the fastest video I've ever done. Put this with a nice salad and a great dessert, something that I've made, or something that you love to make. If you like this recipe, which is more of a video, on how to repurpose your leftover pasta sauce and meatballs, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about your experience with how to economize and use leftovers <laughs> and what else you'd like to see in the kitchen. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. I'm Jim Hightower and remember, everyone needs help, even me. <laughs> On how to repurpose leftover spot, spot spots, <laughs> here, beer. give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it's gonna thumbs up that way. Flip and flopper. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or <laughs> If you like this recipe for how to repurpose pot, <laughs> if you like this recipe for how to, 